Hello, and welcome to the Graph Cycle Training Program. I will be your guide. Let's start simple. Look up at the red light. There we go, and down at the red light. You got it. If you'd like to flip those controls, you can access them in the options menu. When you're ready, proceed to the next area. You'll need to use your altitude control to navigate through the tunnel ahead. Nicely done. Your graph cycle has directional thrusters. You can use boost control to avoid any fire. Very good. Grav cycles require solid ground beneath them, so avoid steep ledges. You will have a limited window to correct your error before you and your vehicle plummet. If you find that you need repairs, use your nano emitter. Fire it at the ground and enter the healing field. You're doing very well. Let's move on to scan mode. You can scan for objects in the environment by using your scan control. Great! Shoot that barrel! A new path is now open. Proceed when ready. Engage the enemies ahead using your primary weapon. Excellent. You're now ready to command a friendly unit. Use your command pulse to order your unit to the specified location. Yep. Your unit will try to fight around this area. Should you cancel a command, your units will return to your position and follow. The cancel command can prove useful in situations where you may have lost track of them or require them to take over for a period of time. Use scan mode to search for interactables in the environment. Good work. You can use your command pulse to have your unit interact with the scanned object. Let's move on to unit combat training. We'll start by temporarily disabling your graph cycle's weapons. You'll need to work with your unit using only the command pulse. You can also use the command pulse to have your units prioritize targets. Try prioritizing the target dummies using the command pulse. Focus, take fire! Got it. Taking them out! Put them down! Target it. Focusing fire! Your units will return to you after they have eliminated a prioritized target. Good work! Each unit is equipped with a special ability. Using the unit ability control, your units will deploy their special ability on a target or location. Yeah! Enemy dispatch! Roger! These abilities can be pivotal in a combat situation. You may proceed to the next area. In order to revive a completely downed unit, you will first need to retrieve their brain can. Well done. Copy. Proceed to the final area for a live combat test. 
Every unit in your squad will always fight by your side, but it's the Grav Cycle Pilot's commands that will increase their effectiveness in battle. To pass this test, all enemy combatants must be eliminated. Good luck. You have taken some hits. Scan the area for a nano repair station. Yep. Coming back. Roger. Much better. During combat, damaged enemies will enter a vulnerable state. It is during this state that they become susceptible to critical damage. Capitalizing on this state can be key when engaging stronger enemy units. Defeated enemies can drop items that may be of use to your squad. In the case of dropped nanopods, the nanites will heal you and your units upon approach. In addition, nanopods can recharge depleted abilities. Taking advantage of these drops can be the difference between life and death. Congratulations, you have completed the Black Eagle training program.